Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be taking a look at Princess Catherine again making her beautiful appearance in that beautiful outfit and her gorgeous children uh, coming out at the Trooping the Colors Parade uh, to honor King Charles' birthday. Wow, what an appearance. And I'm so glad to see her. I'm glad to see she's alive. Just as my cards accurately predicted, she is alive. I got so many like naysayers and a lot of uh, the viewers were telling me, no, you're wrong. She's dead. I feel it in my soul. I feel it in my spirit. And I told them, listen, I say what I see in the cards. I don't have any other agenda. I ask the question, pull the cards, and then I say what I see in the cards. I don't play into any um, theories. I don't, I don't really, I just go with what the cards are saying because therein lies the truth to some degree, right? We ha have to take it with a huge grain of salt. Uh, and we're using these to sort of keep track of the story because we're not given a lot of information at times. Things are hidden from us, the public. And so tarot readings are to help us speculate better, okay? And so when all those hundreds of people came to my channel telling me that Princess Kate was dead, uh, and I stood my ground and said, no, my cards say she's alive. Turns out that was correct and the right thing to do. And I just felt really sad that so many people thought she was dead because it's like you're wishing her dead, you know? And I didn't believe in that. I believed in wishing her alive and I believed in seeing what I saw in the cards, which is that she was truly involved the struggle with cancer and that's what was going on as you can recall or maybe you don't if you go back to my earlier readings about princess kate i accurately predicted she had cancer and then she came out and made the announcement about having cancer and then i accurately predicted that she was alive even though people were insisting she was not and there she is at trooping the colors parade so i just i don't like to toot my own horn but i just want to make it very clear abundantly clear that i am trying my best to simply say what i see in the cards and i trust the process and i'm encouraging you to do the same all right, let us begin. Where This is part two of the reading for the Trooping the Colors Parade. The question we're going to be asking in this one is, um, why wasn't William sitting with Catherine in the carriage? Okay, why wasn't William sitting with Catherine in the carriage at the Trooping Colors Parade? All right, um, if you would like to see the shuffling and card selection process for this reading, then please note that I move that to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support. All right, let's begin. So we have temperance. Okay, so temperance. I think he was feeling like um, that it was a moderate thing to do, okay? He felt like he was seeking reconciliation with Princess Catherine, okay? Um, and because he's in the process of seeking reconciliation with Princess Catherine, he felt it was best to not sit in the vehicle with her, okay? All right, we're getting this symbol on Oracle card, which don't have any names. Uh, we've got Jupiter here in Gemini, Sagittarius, and Mercury. So we're seeing someone being monitored here. They're being monitored while they clean the dishes and do what they need to do, doing their tasks. So I get the feeling that Prince William has this, like he, you see someone at a distance, kind of keeping a distance and watching someone perform their task. I get the feeling that he was giving Princess Catherine space so she could do whatever it is that she, she wanted to do. You can see the space there. He was observing her, it was nearby, but he just wanted to give her space to do what she wanted to do the way she wanted to do it, okay? He didn't want to get in the way of her I simply wanted to observe her, okay? So we're seeing the next oracle card, symbol on the oracle card, which is someone's chopping up the wood and this woman is washing clothes in the wash basin, right? So I get the feeling that he had things he was doing, guys. Yeah, Prince William was busy with something. He had something to take care of. That was another reason he wasn't in the carriage with her. So just the way that it worked out, right? All the elements came together in such a way that he felt it was best to sort of keep his distance while she did her thing and while he was doing his own thing as well, right? Here's Princess Catherine doing something here. Here's Prince William doing something over there. So they'd split up the tax tasks. They'd split up how they were going to do it, okay? So he was doing a different kind of thing. She was doing a different kind of thing. So I, I believe that he viewed her being a carriage as a duty, as a task, as an errand, as a chore. Like, you know, this is what this is your duty. This is what you're supposed to be doing. So while you're doing that, I'll be doing something else. That's kind of how he views it, okay? that's That was the reason. So we're getting the Two of Wands, which is a card of... You know, trying to, getting ready to make a decision, you know, thinking of your future plans, right? Thinking of your future plans. So this is someone who's poised on the precipice of, they've already committed to something here, right? And they're considering something else. They're considering, you know, expanding, okay? It can also imply opposing forces. And so like I saw with the tarot card above, which is the temperance card, that he, he he's trying to reconcile with Princess Catherine. I'm getting a sense here too with the two of wands that there's some opposing, they, they are opposing forces, okay? They're both strong in their own right, but it's like they're doing their own thing. It's like they're doing their own thing. I don't know. It's weird. That's kind of what I'm seeing. They're standing apart. They're there, but they're standing apart. Okay. 
we're seeing this symbol on Oracle card, which has a merchant standing in the square. They're just kind of hanging around. Ooh, and we got someone with their head in the chopping block there. Perhaps the, that's the guillotine, or perhaps just a shaving, like a public shaming stand. And I see this person with like a look of content on, contempt on their face. We got a dog barking. So we've got, we got a communal scene here, okay? I feel that Prince William thinks that riding in the carriage is an embarrassing and humiliating activity. He feels like it's a punishment in some kind of way. I think that, you know, we see two people standing apart, okay, connected but standing apart. Perhaps he feels ashamed. Perhaps he feels like someone was being punished and he was keeping his distance away from it. Someone was being punished or someone was being put on display. And standing apart, right, while Princess Catherine, we see that standing apart, right, with the two wands there. But you see these two groups, groups of people standing apart while this woman is on display and while others are reading about her. So I feel like he was saying, no, I was giving her space. I keep seeing that. He was giving her space while she was on display for others to see. This was part of her chore to be on display that, you know, that's, that's part of a duty that she has. So he was standing back so that people could observe her, okay? Just getting out of the way. He felt like she was the one they wanted to see. That's another thing. <laughs> That's what I'm getting out of this. William is very sure that they wanted to see her. Okay? And so he was just staying out of the way. But because, they, you know, they'd been seeing him plenty, right? Think about this. He's been seen a lot. She hasn't been seen a lot. So he just stepped back so she could be seen. Next, we're seeing the Pied Piper here. Leading all the children out. So I get the feeling that he stayed out of the way because he's like, she's the Pied Piper, guys. Look. She's got a huge throng crowd following her wherever she goes and he wanted to be out of the way of that he didn't want to be in that part of that scenario he didn't want to be part of that setting um and that's just the truth he just didn't want to deal with that okay and um that's very interesting to me that he was respecting the process in a way if you think about it he's a little annoyed by it though you can see that look of like a little bit like annoyed or contempt or, or just like i don't i don't want anything to do with that anyway right he's like i don't want to be followed everywhere anyway she can have it but I get the feeling that he feels like she is a powerful creature who knows how to woo in the crowds and people just seem to love her and follow her, go wherever she goes. And he just wanted to get out of the way and let her do her thing. And that is why he was not in the carriage with her, uh, trooping the colors parade. And uh, that's very interesting. I, I would expect to see him be more warm and just be by her side at this time while she's being seen. It's very telling. I think he really just doesn't care what people think, that he doesn't have to be by her, you know, he just accepts that people are going to think what they're going to think and he's just supporting her through the process. And that is what I see in the cards as far as why was Prince William not with Princess Catherine by her side at the Trooping the Colors Parade. Yeah. So if you've enjoyed this reading, please give me a thumbs up and share this reading if you would like. And uh, let me know wh where are you watching this from, okay? Um, I would love to know what, what town, what... what uh, what state or country or part of the world are you from? Let me know. I would love to know. Okay, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for watching. Catch you up with you at the next reading. Bye.